Europe's biggest cross-country transport network is about to add a key missing link, an underwater tunnel that will sit 40 meters deep in the Baltic Sea. Officially called the Femarn Belt Fixed Link, this 18-kilometer-long tunnel is redefining the limits of engineering and will transform travel across Europe forever. The tunnel gets its name from the isolated island of Femarn, just off the mainland of Germany. Femarn is separated from Denmark by a 20-kilometer waterway known as the Femarn Belt. This is where the world's longest immersed tunnel is starting to take shape, and it will soon serve a massive purpose. Some 30 years ago, the European Union signed off on Europe's biggest infrastructure project ever. The Trans-European Transport Network would connect every corner of the continent with a network of roads, railways, and shipping lanes. With nine distinct corridors, this network strengthens the EU's economic, social, and territorial integration. By enabling seamless transport systems across borders and getting rid of bottlenecks, Europe aims to accelerate trade of goods, ideas, and much more. A major part of this network is the ScanMed corridor, which crosses Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Austria, and Italy. It is a 5,000-kilometer-long link that originates in Malta in the south and ends with Finland's frosty plains. This is one of the world's most scenic travel routes that encompasses alpine tunnels and shipping lanes through the ocean. However, the corridor presents a problem as it approaches the Scandinavian peninsula. Travel across the Feymarn Strait is possible through a ferry or a 200-kilometer detour around Denmark. While this can be a scenic journey, it is quite time-consuming. For now, a ferry takes about an hour to make the 20-kilometer-long crossing. When completed, the Feymarn Belt Link will allow trains to cross the strait in just seven minutes, while the road link will help cars make the same trip in about 10 minutes. The planned rail link will reduce travel time from Hamburg to Copenhagen from five hours to less than three hours, while travelers will no longer have to make the previously long detour. Given the obvious benefits, the idea of connecting Germany and Denmark through the Feymarn Strait isn't new. However, the first concrete effort to build a link was made in 2008 with the idea of a Feymarn link. Denmark and Germany signed a treaty with many ideas under consideration to connect the two sides. When you think of building water crossings, immersed tube tunnels are usually the last option due to the complexity of the design. In comparison, building bridges or boring tunnels can be a much simpler task. So, the first plan for the Feymarn Belt was a rail and road link similar to the cable-stayed Orsund Bridge in Sweden. However, the idea was quickly shelved due to the fear of strong eastern winds that could potentially pose problems for the structure and may even cause shipping collisions. The next option was to drill under the sea floor using a tunnel boring machine, TBM, similar to the famous Channel Tunnel between Britain and France. However, this was also ruled out because the seabed was deemed unfit for drilling. This was supposed to be a high-speed rail and road link. However, this would require a significantly longer tunnel and the use of multiple TBMs, making the project longer and economically unviable. So, in 2011, the design teams finalized an immersed tube tunnel design. This would mean building an undersea tunnel made up of prefabricated segments fitted together in a trench underwater. While this is not a novel design, the length of the Feymarn Tunnel will be at least three times the size of any such tunnel built before. The 18-kilometer-long link will comprise two double-lane motorways, two electrified rail tracks, and a service passageway separating the tracks. Construction began in 2020 on the Danish side and then in Germany a year later. Dredging work has already reached 80% and the sand excavated will be used to build a beach in Lolland. Dredging work, however, is just step one of a long process. Engineers are going to build on a scale never seen before, adding to the complexity and uniqueness of the project. So, how do you build something that big?
the longest tube tunnel in the world will consist of 89 massive concrete sections, each measuring 217 meters long, 42 meters wide, and 9 meters tall. Each one of these sections will contain two tubes for the highway, two for the railroad, and one for service access. To put the enormity of the structure into context, each section will weigh more than 200 heavy-duty cranes. To build such an enormous project, the company in charge of construction spent two years preparing the construction site. They built a harbor capable of receiving up to 80,000 tons of material deliveries each week, accommodations for 1,300 workers, and the world's largest tunnel factory where the concrete tunnel sections will be made. A massive challenge for the designers would be to build these sections on land and then lower them into the water. Since each section is so large, all 89 sections cannot be stored in a single facility, meaning that as soon as each one is completed, it must be installed straight away. Several phases of the project are simultaneously underway, including the digging of the trench that will host the tunnel and building the factory where the tunnel sections will be constructed and stored. The construction company in charge of the project believes that the first tubular segment will be immersed in less than a year. Meanwhile, the whole project will be completed by 2029. The Feymarn Fixed Link is the second prominent underwater tunnel megaproject in Europe, following the Channel Tunnel. Given their massive scale, there have been comparisons between the two. However, the way they are constructed is very different. Channel Tunnel is a 50-kilometer tunnel built using tunnel boring machines instead of immersed pre-built tunnel sections. And while the Feymarn Belt Tunnel won't come cheap with a budget of $10 billion, the Channel Tunnel would have cost $22 billion when adjusted for inflation in 2023. Even then, Europe's newest tunnel has attracted criticism for its eye-watering budget. However, it is being built to last over 120 years, justifying the money spent on it. The tunnel is also planned to become profitable in the next 30 years, partly with the help of tolls collected on the soon-to-be-popular highway. Despite the concerns over cost, authorities across Europe have high hopes for the mega-project. This is why the European Union has agreed to bear about 10% of the project's total cost, while the rest of the project will be owned and paid for by Finland. Proponents of the mega-project believe that the Feymarn Belt Tunnel will open up Central Europe's corridor and allow an unprecedented amount of traffic to travel. The link will become a game-changer for European commerce, especially between Germany and Scandinavia, where annual trade is valued at over $100 billion a year. While its economic impacts are yet to be seen, the Feymarn Fixed Link promises to be an adventurer's dream. What do you think of the world's longest immersed tube tunnel? Would you like to see more similar megaprojects across the world? Let us know in the comments below. If you are a fan of innovative water crossings, check out our video on China's $35 billion innovation, the Mega Bridges, one of which is supported by a single tower in one of the most rugged terrains. We'll see you in the next video.